<clears throat> Hi, everybody. Narrator won't show up today. Um, I won't do the voice. Uh, if For those who didn't know, uh, last week I lost someone, uh, someone that I knew when I was from when I was a child, had died last week, and um, I didn't come out with a tutorial, and I was all types of fucked up. Uh, I'm not saying this to open up, I'm telling, well, I kind of am opening up, or rather airing out, um, um, but I'm mainly concerned with, this is a warning, as I'm uh, trying, what I'm trying to say, this is a warning, because um, here's what happened, you know, uh, I... Over the course of this entire week, uh, I was, uh, first I, I, I basically climbed into a bottle of alcohol, um, like I was drinking non-stop. So much so that when I was going to work, I ralphed not once but twice, and the second time um, I started puking up blood, um, and then I was like in a de like this huge, just deeply depressed, um, and then out of nowhere, I, I just got angry, like angry at everything, and um, and yeah, uh, over the past, I don't want to say like uh, Thursday, um, I dreamt I saw my friend again, and I didn't say anything, and then I woke up, started tearing up, but I was all like, why did I dream of that? So I googled the definite, the like what it meant, um, what that dream meant, and uh, evidently, like I still haven't fully accepted that the fact that my friend is dead. Um, so um, the reason why I'm saying this is a warning is this: if you don't talk to people, like because uh, I was just pushing everybody away, didn't want to talk about it at all. Um, if you don't talk about it, like me, like I did, don't be like me. Uh, just open up, talk to people about it, um, because like otherwise, if you it'll fester into this thing, and it'll find other means of getting out in more destructive ways than you'd imagine. Um, so take what, so take from that what you will as a warning. And if anybody, do, and if anybody's like, like, Doug, I don't care, uh, hit that dislike button and go fuck a cactus. I don't need, uh, I don't need your shit. Um, so, that said, you know, don't be like me. Don't keep a pen up. If you have someone to talk to, just talk to them. You know, they'll be there for you. I mean, at the very least, it's... Like, right now, even though I'm talking about it, like, I feel this huge, like, weight off my chest. Like, it doesn't feel as heavy. I mean, obviously, I'm still, like, you know, going through shit, but, like... While I'm not there yet, I'm a lot better off than when I was when, I, when it first started. So that said, let's make this goddamn tank. First thing we're gonna do is gonna go to Game Blueprint. Uh... Yeah, it's, a, it's the Chaos Rhino, so I gotta make a new folder. Chaos... Space... Marines. And then I'll just go... New folder... Vehicles. And this time, we're gonna make a uh, new blueprint class here. And like I said, it's gonna be a fucking character. And I'm just gonna call this Chaos... Rhino. Because we're gonna be using the Rhino tank. <coughs> uh, uh. So... I'm gonna add a static mesh component. Static mesh component. And, uh. Ch -ch -ch -ch, where the fuck did I put the rhino again? I'm gonna go to contents. I'm gonna do a predator. So, uh, let's go here. Control B. Ah! Uh, do I have its source location? Open source location. No, I, I, this time I will texture this thing. Is one drive open? It is open. God damn it. Ugh. Fucking god damn it. Where's one drive? Whatever. Um, I'll close that. I'll, I'll close that off camera. But like, uh, if anybody wants to know. Like let's say, because I have the textures for all like the all the all the stuff that you see, um, it's just that OneDrive is, is being a bitch with uh, my Windows Explorer. So if anybody wants to download this or any of the models that you that I'm using, go to MadHenHouse.com, uh, and then you want to go to downloadable 3D models, 
And here's where you see, like, you know, the Aquila Lander, Commissar Sword, Last Pistol, da 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 Storm Talon Gunship, we're actually going to be using that. The Necron does have its textures, and I will make a Doom Scythe, um, um, yeah. So I'll basically have the Doom Scythe up and running, etc., 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 um, so yeah, you can just download the files, they do come, um, even though they're untextured, because I just, I didn't have the time to texture it, um, uh, the, the packs that they come with, with the exception of the Kree unit, actually does have a, actually do have textures with them. That said, uh, let's just grab this model. Uh, first I'll be check its collision. So I'm gonna hit apply. Uh, I want it real, I want it point to point. So, uh, if you go to collision complexity, project default, use complex as simple. And we get shit. And we can see it's really point to point now. So I'm gonna go with Chaos Rhino. Hit the right. And I gotta fucking uh rotate this out. Let's see here. Uh yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Let's take this down. As I've yeah, it'll have to be. It'll have to do. Uh, uh that's it. Oh, and I'll link to in the description below. I'll link to um the actual address if you want to download any of the any of all three models. Anyway, so fuck, forgot to. We need a spring arm, and we need a camera. The reason why it, the reason why we need these two is let me just let me rotate this down a little. Let oh god! Yeah, I know it's the small. It's the models. They're just that small. Like I said, the reason why they're, the models themselves are this tiny is because the bigger something is, the longer it takes to render. The longer it takes to render, the more size it's going to take up on your hard drive. So they, what they do is they minimize the scaling um, in order to actually uh, save space on the hard drive, essentially. Because the less time it takes to render, the less time it takes to, you know, the less space it takes up. Uh, okay. Yeah, we're going to redo, like I'm going to redo uh, a lot of this. Okay, so, um... Should I edit? Yeah, I'll edit that. Anyway, let's, let's let's get rid of all of you. And you know, yeah, I'm, yeah. Because I I fucked something up. Anyway, so mainly we're gonna be doing the event tick. Right, we're gonna get a sequence. We're gonna get four th five things. One, um, so I decided to edit, rather than just let you watch the entire bit bit, um, like, uh, I'll review the footage and then, like, edit this, and then basically just cut this in, um, because, like, I, I kind of fucked up. Anyway, so, we're gonna be doing, so, in order to do the movement, as well as the rotation of the camera, we're gonna be using, um, uh, we're gonna be doing it through the event tick. Uh, I'll do the whole is moving bit later, so if you want to move and rotate at the same time, you can. Um, anyway, so, we are going to get player controller. Now, the way I'm about to show you, because, like, you could basically clone this if you want, but I'm not going to. The reason being is because it's easy, it's best to get your feet wet, like, let's say somebody's like, oh, I want to do these special commands, like down, like quarter circle forward or whatever. This is the best way to, this is actually the best, like, uh, if I hold these two keys down, uh, another command will happen instead. So, uh, you can, so this is a good way to get your feet wet in that. We're gonna get the player controller, we're gonna say is key, is input key down. So this will be forward, so I'll grab W, I said W, branch this out, so if you guys want to check for a specific key being pressed, you can do that. So on true, we are going to add movement input, I believe. 
believe. And we get actor rotation. And from there we want to get the forward vector. And plug that in. Axis value I'll be I'll keep at one. Um, so we basically clone this. I'm going to do the S. Plug this in. Move this down a little. But net value is going to be negative one. You said negative one, not negative zero. You can't do negative zero. That's literally impossible. Um, because we want to move back. Now clone this again. Because this is going to be for the rotation now. This is going to be A. But this time we want to add yaw. Add controller yaw input. Value I'm just going to put at negative one because that's turning left. Control W. W W S yeah, E D. So this is going to be D. And this is going to be positive one because we're moving to the right. Now we got to do something about the camera. So in our player controller, we want to, I think it's get cursor. No. Get mouse. Get mouse position. Now, the mouse position is going to be moving the camera. Uh, as you can see, like before, uh, before I edited this, um, like I moved the spring arm and stuff like that. So you can actually make the spring arm the uh, spring arm shorter if you want. Um, and like you're gonna have to do a lot of positioning with that. Uh, even still, it's gonna look janky as fuck. So we want to get the spring arm. Uh, set world rotation. Right. Split this struck pin up. Now the X. See, okay, so here's how it works. Because it doesn't. Because mouse position can't have a Z because it's only X and Y side to side, up and down respectively. Uh, the X is going to have to go into the Z, but the Y and the leap goes to the Y, and then we plug this into then four. Uh, compile, we'll play this, and as you can see, we're moving the camera around, and we're rotating, and if I hit W, we're moving, and we're moving in based on that direction. Uh, uh, I'm going to try something. Uh, set is moving to false, but we set this to true. I'm going to try this. You don't need to follow this specific step. Because if this works, branch, 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 if this works, then I'll include it in the tutorial. Then I'll include this right now. Then I'll include what I'm doing right now. Uh, and now, let's just say, control W. Uh, step up. This has to be false. Try it. I'm gonna try it. Come on. Control W. Then three goes into here. Wait, 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 wait. Undo. What are you could what are you connected to? Oh, then two. Never mind. So that, then that. Let's try this. Ah, ah. Yeah, I thought so. <sighs> yeah, I thought so. I thought it would only move for a frame, so I'm gonna have to. I'll, I'll look into that next. Uh, not next week. Um, let's plug this in. Yeah, like I said, it's just gonna be. Um, yeah, I'll have to look into see how to. I forgot how to do the move and rotate bit, but. Uh, well, we can hard code it instead of having is moving. Just say, uh, no, I didn't mean to, I didn't want to create a fucking macro. There. Um, there's a way we can do that. You just say, uh, can rotate. And we set this to false. So that way we can't move and rotate at the same time. By default, we have to set it to true. And 
I'm just gonna, instead of is moving, I'm gonna rename this can move. And I'm going to compile this, set to true by default. Branch. Yeah. Uh, plug this in. And then we plug this in. And can rotate this set to false. So let's get rid of that. And get rid of No! Get rid of this. We said can move to false. Can move to false. Then two, so that means go there. Can move has to be false. No, not can move. Can rotate has to be true. And you are then three. Yeah. <coughs> But we need to reset all the variables, so let's just do that here. Yeah, your camera's gonna be janky AF. Yeah. As you can see, ah, oh, yeah, I've, I've missed something. Uh, uh, where's the A? Um, it's not the end of the world. Uh, they have the, they got a general. I mean, they got the general idea. Because I know I missed, uh, I missed a check somewhere. I'll, I'll look for that another time. You basically, have the idea of what what I what I'm I was talking about. Um. So that being said, yeah, pound that uh, elevator button harder. I'm sure the elevator will come faster. That being said, uh, uh the Basilisk tutorial. Uh, it won't show up next week, because I still need some time for, I need some me time, um, but it'll probably be in the next, like, not next, not next Saturday, probably the Saturday afterward, um, I'll talk to Captain K, I don't know if I'm gonna do a Slab Lounge podcast this week, or the Game Guy sections bit, bit, like, I might, uh, I don't know, I'm still, like, uh, I'm still going through, yeah, uh, I'm still trying to work through this. That being said, next time, like, the one thing's for damn sure, narr narrator's coming back. Um, but yeah, uh, that's how you do tank movements, um, and we'll tackle the basilisks, uh, the basilisk as well as artillery fire, which isn't that difficult in and of itself. You basically use a timeline, and based on that timeline, toggle the gravity. Um, um, but yeah, so there you have it. Uh, you boppers and game developers take care. Uh, th to those who actually sent me, like, you know, well well wishes, thank you for that. That really did help. Um, and, yeah, happy Saturday.